Welcome to another edition of the Fruits of Our Society show with your presenter Ibrahim Ajawo through Ben Television Interface Gambia. I welcome you all to the Excel Center. We're here to witness yet another edition of the world uh, travel market. Many countries come to this travel market to show or showcase the beauties that their countries have got to offer in terms of tourism, in terms of culture, in terms of friendliness. I'm standing right in front of the Gambia stand. I would go in and talk to some of the local representatives of the Gambia Tourism Board. Check with them what the Gambia has got to offer that other competitors haven't got. Your live on Ben Television interface. Welcome to uh, Excel Center. I've got a gentleman standing next to me. I'll just put the mic in front of him and ask him his name. Can you please introduce yourself, sir? Thank you. I am Male Sala and also a director on the GT Gambia Tourism Board. Uh, Mr. Sala, we're here to witness another edition of the World uh, Travel Market. What has the Gambia got to offer that's different from what the other competitors have? Well, of course, in, um, in the Gambia, we, we, um, we offer, it's a, it's a very, first of all, Gambia, when we talk about Gambia, it's synonymous with stability. stability yeah. So the stability, of, of course, is important for tourism. Very well. um, on top of that, mm -hmm. we have uh, an array of hotels yeah. that, uh, that, that basically suit mm -hmm. everyone's needs. So we have the two stars, the three stars, the four stars, and the five star hotels. Mm -hmm. The country is also beautiful. Our flora and our fauna mm -hmm. is really something that we can be very proud of as mm -hmm. Gambians. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Gambia is a beautiful country. Yeah. But on top of that, I think uh, one thing that makes us really unique is the smile of the Gambia. Gambia that's right. You know, um, Gambians are very friendly people. Right. The service that uh, people experience when they come into the Gambia, the friendliness of the people, mm -hmm. I think this makes us very, very unique. Mm -hmm. Yes. It does indeed. Yes. Uh, in terms of uh, traveling to the Gambia, I mean, recently we've heard about issues that happens in terms of the Ebola, the Ebola issue, for example. What are we doing as, as a state to kind of make sure that we do not, we are not faced with that threat? I think first of all, um, we would like to announce that Gambia is Ebola free. free yeah. And uh, it doesn't come by accident. The government has been quite proactive yeah. in protecting our borders um, against this, uh, this, this Ebola scourge. Yes. Um, if we look at it, as far as uh, last April, mm -hmm. the government took actions to strengthen the border surveillances. Mm -hmm. Um, and to also restrict air travel into the Gambia. Yeah, yeah. And I think this, is, this has gone a long way mm -hmm. in protecting the Gambia as a country, mm -hmm. the Gambian people against the scourge of Ebola. Yeah. You've heard it from the horse's mouth, Gambia is Ebola free. Uh, that was uh, Mr. Male Sala of the Gambia Tourist Zimbabwe. If anybody's thinking of traveling to the Gambia, you can book your tickets and fly to the Gambia. Absolutely. Gambia is safe, Gambia is peaceful, Gambia is Ebola free. Mm -hmm. um, we already have quite a few tourists who are coming yeah. and we would like to appeal to everybody mm -hmm. Gambia is as Gambia has always been yeah. and uh, you're welcome to visit the Gambia thank you very much mr. Sala. thank you very much uh, I'm standing next to a lady that's dressed in the Gambia's very own flag red white yellow green as you can see I'll just put the mic in front of her madam what's your name my name is Angela Andrews I'm from West African tours and we are a well-known destination management company in the Gambia so what do you do in terms of managing uh, discoveries? Um, we are actually, we are, have been established since 1987 mm -hmm. and we recognize the fact that Gambia is a popular destination for tourists. Mm -hmm. We also look at it and say, okay, Gambia is small, apart from the many attractions that we have, we like to couple it with other countries as well. Mm -hmm. So in addition to doing tourist destinations in the Gambia, interesting people, people coming in who are interested in the Gambia, we take them as well into the sub-region. Mm -hmm. So that's what we do. But there's lots of attractive things to see in the Gambia. We have got a beautiful, um, majestic river that we owe our name to. Yeah. We've got lots of birds. We've got cultural tourism, yeah. we've got culinary delights, we've got, um, you name it, river tourism, bird watching, everything. You want it, we've got it. And the most beautiful, the hospitable people, people that's right. with a smile. 
that smile. Always with a smile, yeah. But we can definitely see that smile in you. Uh, what are we doing as uh, as a nation and as, as people to protect our fauna and flora? Well, we recognize, we, we sort of like, we respect the nature because we also live with them. Yeah. And uh, what we tend to do is like, even with some, there's some guided areas, there's some protected areas mm -hmm. whereby we don't go too close. Yes, yeah. We observe it from the far yeah. and uh, especially when you go upriver. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's really uh, recognized um, boundaries. boundaries that we sort of operate within. Yes. Thank you very much, Angela. It's really nice talking to you. What's your last word? Um, our last word is please bring the tourists. Come and visit the beautiful Gambia. It's a delight that you will never regret. Thank you very much. Fill at the Excel Center uh, with some of the uh, people representing the Gambia uh, at the World uh, Travel Market. I'm here with another lady, Hadi Jatunjai. Hadi, uh, what do you do? Basically, I represent two hotels, mm -hmm. Ocean Bay and Red Croc Hotel. All right. So basically, there are two, two hotels under one management, mm -hmm. both five-star properties wow. located at Cape Point, Bacau. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm pretty much here to showcase what we have mm -hmm. and to also meet with and network with potential customers mm -hmm. that will actually come and visit the Gambia and stay with us at Ocean Bay and Red Croc. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what has your hotels got that they can offer that's different from other competitors? We are actually known for our all-inclusive packages yeah. and it's also a five-star resort like I said and the beach is really nice and sandy yeah. and one of the nicest beaches in the Gambia mm -hmm. and of course the services is also key right. because excellence in service delivery mm -hmm. is what our facility is known for. Right. So pretty much that's where we have a competitive edge over our the other hotels. hotels. Yes, please. <laughs> Thank you very much, Hadija. To definitely stay with us yeah. at Ocean Bay and Red Croc and have a pleasant stay. <laughs> Thank you very much, Hadija. To nice talking to you. Nice talking to you too. I'm here with another gentleman at the Gambia stand um, at the World uh, Travel Market. I just ask him his name. Uh, what's your name, sir? My name is Ben Mortimer. I'm commercial director at McPhillips Travel, who represent Gambia Bird in the UK. The Gambia Bird seems to be a popular. Uh, a popular choice for many people that travel to the Gambia. Uh, why is that? Um, I think that they've established themselves as a, a, a reliable airline to fly to the Gambia. We have, they have two flights twice a week now, um, so it's a non-stop service. They've listened to the needs of the community and they've increased the baggage allowance for Gambia to 46 kilos. And so when people get two nice size suitcases, that's always a nice draw. And I think after establishing themselves over two years, people now trust the service, they trust the brand and um, it's going very well. Uh, in terms of the Ebola trade, uh, has that affected traveling to the Gambia at all? Yes, I think it's uh, significantly affected travel to the Gambia. It's, uh, um, uh, unfortunately, there is a stigma attached to Ebola. It's a horrendous disease, and, uh, and the knock-on effect of that is that anyone in the sub-region does suffer by association. So you know, we are trying our best to uh, make every, all of our customers know and our mailing list know that uh, the Gambia is Ebola-free. Um, it currently is very welcoming to travelers. The, the fares are extremely good because um, it's trying to attract people to go back to the Gambia. Hotels are offering discounted rates, um, and the weather is perfect this time of year so you know we encourage people that uh, there's nothing to worry about it's completely Ebola free and it now is about as good a time as you could uh, choose to go and visit. You've had it uh, viewers the Gambia is Ebola free there isn't anything stopping anybody from traveling to the Gambia. Your last word Ben. Um, travel to the Gambia and book with us. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy the smiling coast. Thank you very much. All right thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Still at the XL Center in London uh, witnessing an other edition of the World Travel Market here in London. The Gambia is represented by uh, quite a lot of uh, people who play key and important roles in the Gambia's tourism. Uh, I'm here with another gentleman. Sir, what's your name? My name is Sharbel Hobeika. I'm the managing director of Gambia Tours uh, and Travel Limited. All right. Uh, Sharbel, what has the Gambia got to offer that's different from everyone else? Well, uh, first of all, uh, I can say the people. We have the, the smiling people all the time. That's why we, we are known as the smiling coasts. Uh, we have very friendly people, of course. Uh, that is the most important thing. Uh, we have uh, good security. We have nice beaches, a nice river. And, of course, uh, very good hotels. Okay. Well, the 
you said you represent Gambia Tours. Yes. Uh, what does the Gambia Tours do exactly? Well, we are an incoming ground tour operator mm -hmm. and we represent uh, international tour operators from UK, Germany, uh, all over Europe and partly from America and we do airport transfers mm -hmm. we do uh, hotel bookings it's okay. we do also daily or overnight or one-week excursions it's okay. yeah the Gambia seems to be gaining quite a lot of momentum in terms of uh, being a tourist destination uh, is it mainly because of uh, the stability in the country the friendliness of the people uh, the flora and fauna that attracts people or is there anything else well it's you've named them all uh, first of all is the the stability and security which I spoke about uh, because it's good that when you are a tourist you want to be in a safe environment and that's what we have of course the flora and the fauna we have uh, lots of uh, lots of it to offer so uh, that's uh, where we have the plus yeah yeah thank you very much for your time sir your last words um, I would like to say to everybody come to the Gambia <laughs> come to the Gambia let's get it booking thank you, thank you. I'm here with an other smiling lady from the beautiful Gambia. Lady, what's your name? Lisa Jara. Lisa. Lisa, what do you do? I work for the Gambia Tourism Board in London. In London? Yeah. So what's your role in London? What, what do you guys do in terms of trying to promote the Gambia in London to get more tourists to the Gambia? What do you do? Um, well, we look at different ways of marketing the country um, in terms of uh, participating in a show like this at the Excel so that other countries as well as the tourists in the UK can see what the country has to offer as well as media we do um, different shows or we go on different um, like programs. programs or we have um, talk shows and stuff like that n not even talk shows but we work with the airlines mm -hmm. and we advertise with them and also in the press media for instance like the Metro or the Daily Mail we have advertising mm -hmm. in their um, newspapers yeah. so it's just different forms of media that we use to show the um, UK mm -hmm. especially that um, the Gambia is uh, very popular destination to travel to. Yeah, it is popular, but what are some of our advantages as a country? What have we got that we have got to offer? I'm sure you do this every <laughs> Definitely. I think what most people love about our country is uh, the hospitality we show them, as well as we're so we're full of culture and uh, diversity. There's so many different tribes in the country. So we like to show them that we've got so much to offer cultural-wise, and we always get them involved in our activities around the country and it's becoming more developed as an ecotourism destination with our new ecologies coming up around the based on the river itself as well as some tour, um, resort hotels which include spas because everybody has a different variety of what they like so you can go to sit on the coast by the beach and stay in your resort or else you can stay by the forest um, there's loads of animal parks as well and be um, integrating with the village nearby so you can see their life lifestyle and also just get to learn more about the culture and the country itself it's it's beautiful it's lovely it's really a pleasure talking to you I knew you were you you're able to do it and you've done it thanks <laughs> thank you thank you very much thank, thank you, very you. Much. <laughs> standing next to uh, the chairman of the Gambia's tourism board mr. Bakri Jame mr. Jame welcome thank you very much uh, you guys are here to showcase what the Gambia has got to offer. What have we got to offer that's different from all the other competitors? Um, as you know, tourism is a way of life for Gambia. Yeah, so we are much better in many ways than a lot of competitors. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, for over nearly five decades now, millions of uh, tourists have come in. Mm -hmm. Many of those people are repeaters. Mm -hmm. Some of them have even taken residence in our country. Yeah. So it shows how good we are in, in tourism. Mm -hmm. uh, tourism premise on a number of things. Mm -hmm. uh, key in them is security. You know, Gambia has, we are noted for peace, stability and, and security. Mm -hmm. Uh, recently somebody told me I've never seen somewhere so peaceful in your country you can sleepwalk well, yeah. and nothing will happen to you uh, that's one key advantage like I said earlier before as well all these years we've been doing tourism we have the good knowledge of it there are a lot of people on the side of the government on the side of the private sector that has been practicing tourism for many years so actually as far as service provision is concerned uh, we are 
exceptional in uh, compared to our competitors. Yeah. Uh, recently, we have been moving away from uh, the sun and the sea yeah. uh, concept, mm -hmm. uh, uh, producing uh, very good products like uh, ecotourism. Yeah. Gambia is a key ecotourism hotspot. Mm -hmm. Now uh, we have two very nice places called Sendeli. I don't know whether you should yeah. visit next time you should come in. <laughs> and Makasutu, these are world renowned heritage heritage sites, uh, etc. So culturally as well, you know about the Roots Homecoming Festival, which we showcase our culture, which is unique in, in, in Africa. Uh, all those giving us an added advantages in addition to the the great scenery and the the closeness to our source markets like Europe because it's just 45 five hours away from from, from, from from where we are we are at the moment right. uh, with that that's why year on year on our visitation numbers keep improving mm -hmm. uh, in terms of uh, investors or potential investors what have we got to offer them in the Gambia we have one of the most friendly investment environment as well. Uh, let's talk about the tourism sector. Yeah. Uh, if you have capital and you have the know-how, we will partner with you at, at the government level and the Gambia Tourism Board level because this is the only country that you can give land for free. Yeah. People have up to four hectares or five hectares of land to build uh, whatever business they want to do with tax breaks, uh, among many other things and your money is safe. safe yeah. Oh, you've heard it, uh, ladies and gentlemen and viewers. Uh, in terms of the Ebola aspect of things, that is a threat. Uh, the Gambi is uh, Ebola free, can we hear that? Yes, uh, as we speak today, mm -hmm. the country hasn't imported one case yeah. of Ebola. Uh, uh, you can see we are open for business, we are smiling. Mm -hmm. Uh, even uh, before we come in, many thousands of tourists are now enjoying their times uh, in, in the Gambia. This is the message we are trying to come out. Mm -hmm. We do not have Ebola and uh, in addition to that, mm -hmm. uh, it is not just a coincidence that we didn't have Ebola in Gambia, Gambia. Uh, because adequate measures have been taken mm -hmm. at the points of entry to our land borders, our sea borders, our air borders mm -hmm. to ensure that people are screened and we also have plans in place in case somebody who is suspected to have Ebola to deal with, mm -hmm. uh, all the together we, uh, we thank God that we haven't got any case and then we are not relenting on that and we intend to keep Gambia Ebola free. You've heard it uh, viewers, the Gambia is Ebola free. Anyone that wants to go to the Gambia can get booking and go to the Gambia. Thank you very much for your time Mr. Uh, Mr. Jame. What's your last word? Uh, it's a great pleasure to talk to you. Uh, I'm extending an open invitation to everybody yeah. to come and enjoy their holiday in the Gambia to Gambians and non-Gambians alike. Mm -hmm. Gambia is open for business and the smiling course is always smiling. Thank you very much Mr. Jame for your time. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Afternoon, uh, sir. Uh, welcome to Interface Ben TV. Uh, welcome to the Excel Center, sir. Thank you very much, Mr. Jalo. Can you remind us of your name, please, and congratulations. Um, Benjamin Roberts. Uh, Mr. Roberts, uh, you're here to showcase what the Gambia has got to offer in terms of tourism. Uh, what have we got that other competitors haven't got? Um, that's a tough question, Mr. Jalo, because, you know, as long as tourism is concerned, it's quite a very competitive mm -hmm. um, market. So pretty much, especially depending on the region that you're coming from, in our case, in, I mean, Africa or West Africa, mm -hmm. uh, most of the destinations will probably have to offer almost um, similar products. Mm -hmm. But where the difference comes in is really the uniqueness to the particular destination, which I think um, your question is in regards to. Yeah. Um, so the traditional sun, sand and sea mm -hmm. um, can be found in the Gambia, it can be found in Sierra Leone, Ghana, mm -hmm. you know, Nigeria. Yeah. But perhaps um, the uniqueness in terms of Gambia, yeah. for the most part the uniqueness has to do with um, the geographical makeup of the country. You know, um, Gambia as it is, mm -hmm. is quite unique, I mean, unique in, it, I mean, in its fauna and, its, uh, and in its um, flora as well. Um, you have an entire river Gambia running across the stretch, um, the length and breadth of the country. Mm -hmm. But beyond that, you know, we pride ourselves, I mean, these are what we consider to be our unique selling points. Yeah. Um, you have the peace and stability of the country, yeah. you know, you have the hospitality of the Gambian people, hence the name, the smiling coast of Africa, yeah. you know, um, you have the laid back nature, I mean, um, I mean, of the people mm -hmm. and the environment as well. Mm -hmm. And of course, we also say, you know, you can travel to Gambia, unlike other destinations, mm -hmm. within the span of five to six hours without any jet lag. Mm -hmm. You know, but beyond that, other unique, um, I mean, 
selling points, uh, for example, um, the bird in life, because we have over 550 species of bird, you know, and um, of course, um, half of those species are migratory, you know, so depending on the time of the year, you would see a different set, I mean, of birds. Of course, we, we are, the other 50% are quite um, local, and depending on the time of the year, you have different, different plumages as well, you know, so I think these are some of the things that, you know, we try to market. Um, on the basis of us being unique from the other destinations as well. Ecotourism seems to be quite popular in the Gambia, or the Gambia is known for its ecotourism as well. What is your, is your office doing in making sure that that is maintained? I think um, over the years we've done a lot in terms of ecotourism. Um, don't get me wrong, um, initially the concept of ecotourism was more of a natural growth, meaning there wasn't much of um, I mean, a policy pronouncement, if you will, or implementers saying that, okay, fine, this is happening and we need to do it. But I think where the turning point came was when Makasutu came on board. Um, this was around 2004, 2003, 2004, mm -hmm. when it was featured on CNN. Mm -hmm. Then as a country, we started to say, wait a minute, you know, because I think there was a 30 or 35 minutes highlight of Makasutu on CNN. Mm -hmm. So since then, the country has taken a number of initiatives and steps to help promote that. Mm -hmm. And from that, you have the likes of Sandeli coming on board, yeah. Footsteps coming on board, Sita Nunku coming on board, along with others like Boy Boy Lodge, Footsteps, and, uh, I mean, and others. So now as it is, especially we're working with um, Sandeli mm -hmm. to try and bring the concept of Echo Village. Mm -hmm. The eco village concept is very popular in countries like Brazil mm -hmm. and Gambia, as small as we are, we're also following in that footstep because this is what is going to make um, a difference, especially if you consider tourism or if you want tourism to benefit the people who are in the hinterland because you would also know that for the longest part um, 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 the government as it is has been told that you know tourism seems to be benefiting the people within the greater Banjul area what are you doing to really get the benefits to the people in the hinterland and this is why we are now trying to um, push for investments into the likes of Makasutu and Stanunko you know and this is where we are encouraging investments on the river so that people could go and establish tourism facilities on the river and in that way the communities be there the carfos the gardens can supply some of these things and equally they could get employment from the people who live locally so these are some of the things that we are now doing consciously as a government to help promote ecotourism because it would also help to alleviate poverty and help bring opportunities in the hinterland and preempt in the process people migrating from the um, hinterland down into the um, I mean urban areas uh, that draws me to my next question, sir. Uh, in terms of investors, I know many people would want to invest in the Gambia. What, what message have you got for them? Well, uh, we just concluded an investment forum. It was the first international tourism investment forum held in the Gambia in October. Mm -hmm. It was in, um, from October um, 16 to October 19. Mm -hmm. It was quite successful. Quite a number of foreign investors came uh, into the Gambia. Mm -hmm. And the idea was to showcase the investment opportunities in the Gambia because we're also looking at enhancing and diversifying our product suites. Mm -hmm. As I've indicated earlier, um, you know, in, in the past the focus has been on sun, sand and sea. Yeah. But we need to do more um, about it in terms of product development mm -hmm. because um, we have the river, mm -hmm. we have the Atlantic, I mean we're on the mouth of the Atlantic yeah. coast but what are we doing in terms of um, I, mean, I, I, I mean sport fishing for example you know what are we doing in terms of sports tourism mm -hmm. sport fishing, mm -hmm. kayaking, mm -hmm. jet skiing, mm -hmm. you know you name it you know, so you know, the idea behind the investment forum was to showcase these opportunities even the development of a marina we have Denton Bridge you know I mean you see how chaotic that area is and these are all opportunities we're trying to showcase even Kunta Kinte the roots product in Jufuri trying to revamp it, which we have started in earnest now because these are all plans we have to try to enhance and broaden our tourism products so that when tourists come they would have activities to be engaged in and that increases the chances of people coming two three times rather than just coming the first time and saying okay I thought there was more to it than this and they don't, they don't come again so these are some of the things that we are doing to help yeah, I'm showcase the opportunities in terms of tourism investment in the Gambia. I think you keep leading me to my questions. Uh, you talk about the Roots Homecoming Festival, which is gaining quite a lot of momentum in the Gambia. Uh, what are we doing in trying to make sure that we expand to other areas mm -hmm. in terms of attracting the black brothers and sisters from, mm -hmm. from other parts of the diaspora? Yeah. I think um, this is perhaps where the diaspora comes in. Uh, one of the things that I have always said is that we always wait till the last minute and try to promote roots. Um, for the first time around, we're going to spend about 15 months early preparation for roots. And we're going to begin looking into the roots product as soon as we finish 
with the um, independence celebrations because you know the independence celebrations this year is quite unique because it's 50 years of independence yeah so once we're through with that hopefully in March April we would now begin to plan for the routes for 2016 and I believe that gives us enough lead time to prepare and prepare well and ensure that we get the requisite numbers coming into destination during this time period rather than waiting till say six or eight months and begin planning so we're hoping that that strategy in itself would win us the sort of numbers we've been longing for I mean, I mean for quite a while thank you very much sir your last message in terms of ebola the gambia is ebola free can you assure our viewers that the gambia is uh, ebola free? the gambia is indeed ebola free i just had a um, cnn interview with richard quest and that point was made that the gambia is ebola free um, we have to be realistic as well uh, we've been Ebola free, we have put a lot of preventive measures to ensure that it stays that way and we continue to pray because I believe in God and I believe that God has a role to play in this as well. But as long as the government is concerned from a policy perspective, from a practical perspective, we have undertaken everything to ensure that we have the measures put in place. Like if you come in through the borders, you have ent intensified security checks, health personnel. If you come in through the airport, you have sanitizers and all these, you know, thermometer, you know, to take the temperature of people. And people that are suspected because of high temperature, uh, high temperatures are put under surveillance. You know, it's not a quiet task, but we're endeavoring to ensure that these things are cemented. And we hope that it would continue that way. But as we are today, Gambia is Ebola free. And we hope that people would look in, I mean, see this interview and at least get that comfort to yeah. come. And people are coming on holidays. You know, I mean, the season usually starts in November, but the, for, for the first time, it started in October mm -hmm. and then you know um, we, there have been videos made there have been um, tourists who have come and we've also spoken to them and they're going to put the message out there that Gambia is Ebola free mm -hmm. so the Gambia is Ebola free come and enjoy your holiday come and see for yourself thank you very much for your time uh, Secretary of State thank you very much uh, I'm sure you would have something for uh, our Wolof and Mandinka viewers I'm the Ladara Lobuga wa nyinga hamintini nyo nyo seta wa apul wa hlen nak ne you know jere jef nyung sen deka bi sedut we pare dega de mungi atau wa wa ta hout ko seda lol so lolo bahna wa tamit na nyunga ya japale because hamna ne ibola ne kut gambia so nyo hamna nyung chi diaspora bi mui england mui yenen deka ya jamani spain you name it anga nyamit na put the message out there and definitely deka bi nyunga try ne ka ngut fa su fa ne ke ibola mu tonu bu fum ne ka de gita dami da fa feign wow so na nyan continue di nyan yala ne yalla bum fa nyo na nyu yala amen japale why I mean, put the message out there and Neku for Sukhoi for tourism because tourism is a very important um, I mean industry. You bury you for yakar pulse and dunda. Wow. So more definitely you get try you need some cotton you know some I mean cotton you yaram to ensure ne understand it stays that way and have tourists to come. So you get live in Gaya time it's a good dimbal to you. Gambians you know you you neka abroad. You Japan you put the message out there. Sukhoi for tourism jam I'm that comfort you because I'm not I'm getting connection. See I'm getting friends. You have no tourist like that ne you. So that you get Gaya hole. Wow. Yeah. Secretary of State. Uh, thank you very much. Thanks thank for your thank time. You. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you. All right. thank you. We've had the Secretary of State for Tourism, uh, Mr. Roberts, spoke at length about what the Gambia is doing in terms of trying to diversify tourism in looking at in looking at uh, other aspects in terms of the ecotourism in the Gambia, in terms of attracting more investors come to the Gambia and invest. There is uh, there is friendliness. The Gambia the Gambia is known for its. Uh, the Gambians are known for their friendliness. Uh, hence the name, the Smiling Coast of Africa. We've got stone stone circles which are in Jufure and which we are in Wasu and Kerbach. We've got the the roots heritage in Jufure Albreda. We've got quite a lot of historical sites that people need to tap into and understand about the Gambia. We're going on break. Follow me and. When we come next, we would interview and talk to people from other parts of Africa. Thank you. Are you worried about sending or receiving money worldwide? Satisfied with your current money transfer service provider? Or just need a safe, secure and fast money transfer service? Yaye Instant Services is here for you. We send money to the Gambia, Senegal, Nigeria, Sierra Leone, Ghana and many more countries worldwide. 
Contact us today 020-8221-4538 or 79 or online www.yaye.co.uk Like or follow us on Facebook and Twitter with Yaye Instant Services. You are guaranteed better rates, fast delivery and the very best service experience. Yaye Instant Services Limited Reliable, affordable and instant. Stuart Karata's solicitors, a highly dedicated and experienced team of legal professionals, choose Stuart Karata's for legal advice and services, highly experienced conveyancing solicitors, civil litigation, immigration services, personal injury, family and housing law, where clients receive the highest quality services at competitive rates. Visit our website today at www.sk-solicitors.com. Telephone 020-8887-1360. Stuart Karata Solicitors, a fully committed and experienced team of legal professionals. day thousands of people working here need to send money to family and friends living overseas in this video I'm going to show you one of the easiest ways of sending money using approved services online service registering is as easy as visiting approved services website once you register use your username and password each time you send money by using three easy steps step one choose country amount and receive option step two select your recipient if you have sent money to someone in the past using our system you'll be able to select from a drop down menu if not register their details step three final step is to make payment for the transaction either directly through your bank account or using debit or credit card simple easy straightforward approved services limited is the easiest way to send money to family and friends living overseas. Sign up today at approvedservices.co.uk. Welcome back uh, after the break. We're still at the Excel Center and standing at the uh, Senegalese stall. We're here at the Excel Center, which is the World uh, Tourist Market, I believe Travel Market. I'm here with uh, a lady, Madam Ja. Madam Ja, welcome. Thank you. Uh, what do you do? What's your role, Madam Ja? I am um, the Marketing and Communication Director mm -hmm. of the Senegalese mm -hmm. Agency mm -hmm. for Tourism Promotion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, in terms of Senegalese tourism, uh, in terms of your promotion, uh, there is quite a lot Senegal must have to offer in terms of tourism. What are some of the advantages that Senegal has got over other people? Indeed, Senegal, as you may know, mm -hmm. is an exception mm -hmm. in the sub-region. Mm -hmm. It's a haven of peace. Mm -hmm. Senegal offers security, mm -hmm. stability. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the best examples mm -hmm. is the way that Senegal mm -hmm. Uh, the changes of regime, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. democratic regime, yes, okay. uh, that uh, everybody knows mm -hmm. that Senegal has um, mm -hmm. uh, uh, known, mm -hmm. um, okay, and over the years. Uh, yeah. over the years. Mm -hmm. um, uh, apart from that, mm -hmm. I can say that there is a strong political will mm -hmm. to develop, mm -hmm. to boost mm -hmm. tourism in Senegal. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, the authorities mm -hmm. have decided mm -hmm. to uh, bring back to life mm -hmm. the agency mm -hmm. that was uh, uh, shut down mm -hmm. some um, some years ago mm -hmm. so uh, they're willing to develop tourism and uh, have decided mm -hmm. to give more means mm -hmm. uh, so the uh, the agency mm -hmm. will be able to mm -hmm. do more promotion okay. and uh, of course mm -hmm. um, set up uh, a, an efficient strategy okay. uh, on top of that mm -hmm. I can say that 
Senegal is developing mm -hmm. uh, some infrastructure mm -hmm. uh, projects mm -hmm. that are going to boost tourism. Mm -hmm. uh, Senegal is positioning itself mm -hmm. as a regional air hub. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll put a focus mm -hmm. on the new international airport, Port, yeah. the uh, Blaise Diagne Dan, International yeah. Airport, mm -hmm. which is mm -hmm. will be a next generation airport, mm -hmm. uh, which can hold mm -hmm. uh, con can host sorry mm -hmm. the A three hundred and eighty aircraft. To mm -hmm. just to give you an idea mm -hmm. of the type of airport we're going to have. Mm -hmm. Uh, Senegal recently, last week, mm -hmm. inaugurated an international conference centre, uh, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. a very modern one, one. very well equipped. Indeed. Um, uh, we uh, have some uh, investment projects mm -hmm. in terms of hotel uh, facilities mm -hmm. and uh, etc. Mm -hmm. So I can say that uh, as far as the environment, the economic environment is concerned, mm -hmm. Senegal is doing a lot. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, mm -hmm. Senegal is known as one of the most welcoming Com countries country, yeah. in, within yeah. the, uh, the in the world. Well, yeah. We are six, mm -hmm. rank six, mm -hmm. and within Africa, we are the second, second uh, yeah. country. Mm -hmm. And uh, in terms of um, things we can offer, we have a, uh, a, a wonderful uh, cuisine, mm -hmm. uh, colorful markets, markets and yeah. uh, markets are piled up with. Uh, uh, vegetables mm -hmm. and exotic fruits. Yeah. Uh, we have um, uh, some rendezvous, mm -hmm. you know, cultural mm -hmm. rendezvous mm -hmm. uh, in haute couture. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, various regions mm -hmm. offering various um, things like animal parks. Mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, in terms of history mm -hmm. uh, uh, related to slavery, you mm -hmm. have Gore Island, etc. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, there is and quite I a think lot that yeah, you name it. Mm -hmm. I think we have. Mm -hmm. everything mm -hmm. it's just a matter of uh, maybe promoting things properly yeah. and uh, mm -hmm. uh, that's it okay. uh, thank in you terms, in terms of your, the cultural heritage that Senegal has got uh, we it is noted the role that uh, uh, the late president Leopold Sadar Senghor played in in reviving the Africanness, the African culture of Senegal and that is something that Senegal always boasts about and Senegal always try to showcase. What is, is your department doing in terms of making sure that that is preserved? Uh, we, we, you know, we started recently, like uh, three months ago, mm -hmm. that's when the agency mm -hmm. uh, started its activities. Mm -hmm. But um, cul cul culture mm -hmm. uh, will play a great role in mm -hmm. our strategy yes. mm -hmm. because, um, uh, you know, Senegal boasts of uh, like having uh, uh, a lot of cultural activities, mm -hmm. um, music. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I mentioned so, earlier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, there are some names mm -hmm. that are worldwide known, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. Yusundu, mm -hmm. Baba Mal, mm -hmm. uh, Kumba Gaulo, Kumba Gaulo mm -hmm. uh, and um, uh, other uh, yes, mm -hmm. other artists. Mm -hmm. And uh, in terms of even uh, cinema, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. filmmaking. In, in, yeah. We Senegal has been recently. Um, uh, got a, a prize. Mm -hmm. uh, we have like uh, a very uh, a renowned sculpture mm -hmm. that uh, so mm -hmm. etc. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think uh, we uh, we are aware mm -hmm. of the importance of those um, elements mm -hmm. in uh, promoting um, tourism. Same. That's mm -hmm. why we're going to to really work on all those um, mm -hmm. things and uh, show what we can do uh, uh, in Senegal. What we can offer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what message would you have for the viewers that are watching this show uh, in terms of the threat of Ebola? It's not only affecting Senegal, it's affecting Africa as a whole, particularly West Afri the West African sub-region. What message have you got? Senegal is now Ebola free. Senegal is Ebola free. Senegal got an imported case mm -hmm. that was cured mm -hmm. and sent back to his country. So, yeah. I think Senegal mm -hmm. did something mm -hmm. that... Um, uh, for the time being, mm -hmm. only developed countries have done. done yeah. And uh, I think um, it, it's a success story. Mm -hmm. I, I, uh, what we did well mm -hmm. is that we prevented our population mm -hmm. to uh, have a kind of stigmatization mm -hmm. because of the, um, uh, the citizens from Guinea mm -hmm. living in Senegal mm -hmm. being part of our population. Mm -hmm. We didn't like kind of... Um, 
uh, develop a, a kind of stigma. Not no, yet. we really made a very. Um, uh, we had a sensitization campaign, yeah. uh, an awareness campaign mm -hmm. for people to know how to, in case mm -hmm. of uh, Ebola that outbreak, comes, yeah. how to handle that. that okay. And we did it successfully. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's um, a success story mm -hmm. for uh, our, the minister mm -hmm. uh, in charge of uh, health mm -hmm. and for the whole population. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what countries should do. do yeah. Yeah. Uh, I know the campaign is still going. What measures have been put in place in Senegal in terms of screening people, traveling, or people wanting to travel? What reassurances have you got in terms of screening for them? Uh, when you come in Senegal, mm -hmm. you're screened, mm -hmm. you know, they check your temperature mm -hmm. and uh, uh, to make sure that, uh, you know, you're okay, you're safe. safe yeah. And uh, that's what we are doing. Mm -hmm. We are, as I said, um, uh, having a sensitization mm -hmm. awareness campaign mm -hmm. for people to know how to, uh, to handle, uh, apart from Ebola, uh, yeah. I think it's making, um, it's a kind of health campaign. Uh, yeah. It's making mm -hmm. people uh, aware mm -hmm. of how they should um, behave, mm -hmm. in, in, even in case uh, it's something else, it's yeah. another uh, uh, disease virus or virus, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. And I think this is the, the, the good part, the best part of it. Mm -hmm. We thank you very much, Madam, for your time. Uh, in terms of saying this in, in Wolof or any other local language, what do you want to Senegal. Uh, WTM, why Del Lucina, Del Lucina, Bapare de Narades, because Senegal, Limo Am, Dukum, Timirum Tourism, West Africa, Wah, Wah, Jehaluko, come some Bokogamia, Senegal, Yal Mainoko, Mo Am Jam, Senegal, Pi, Bo Am Democracia, Senegal, Bofu New and Nilanu Bach, Nini de Num Bugan, Senegal, Limo Am, Ti Afero Infrastructure, Aeroport Bobes, Be Warren, Bini Tabak, Binga Hamni, Inshallah. Fin 2015, dina, dina uh, opérationnel. Bobu, bo déjà bu ñu avion du dessati fenn hein té aéroport bu bess tak bu moderne bo xamné vraiment euh dina tax tourisme développé donc mbirum infrastructure gouvernement mi ngi ci liggéey autorités yi ñom ñi ngi def li ñu mën pour tourisme développé parce que tourisme dafa am importance sénégal ba paré sénégal yalla may nañu ay manam ay places yo xamné dafa dafa it's wonderful xam nga ba paré dafa varier xam nga so démé fi am nga île de goré nga xamné patrimoine la voilà Ngadem ay Senegal oriental fekk fa ci tout dindi felo hein ngadem ci nord bi Saint Louis fekk fa ay ci plan architectural signal yek fekk fa keur yo xamni ñing ko tabaxone tang yi nga xamni ken gisatu ko etc vraiment Senegal defa nani moy dekk bo xamni touriste lemuy ut dina ko fa am voilà content nañ bu baax ñu la gërem ci sa waxtu jërëjëf man mi ma leen di gërem merci thank you you've had it all from uh, the lady behind the Senegalese uh, tourism agency uh, we thank her very much for her time thank you ladies what's your name my name is Christina. Christina. Yeah. Uh, Christina, what's your role? What what job do you do? Uh, today we are doing some exhibition about Senegal. We're trying to promote the tourism, mm -hmm. to invite people to visit Senegal and uh, to see the most uh, visited area like uh, Gore, uh, Place du Millennium, some kind of sites that will be interesting to visit. Have you got lots of inquiries? Have you got lots of people coming around to inquire about Senegal? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, because um, today, like Monday and Tuesday, those are for mostly business people. So today we have a lot of people that are interested about tourism, but also about food. So we see a lot of people attracted to see what we do, like yeah. the economy, wow. the traditional food, some snack, and um, some main area visited. Yeah. Okay. Well, Senegal has got quite a lot to offer in terms of the food, the cuisine, uh, in terms of music, in terms of your cultural heritage. Uh, Senegal is quite proud of that isn't yeah. it yeah it is yeah and we have some uh, famous singer we have Yusundo which is very well known mm -hmm. today I have some few people coming and they were like oh I know Yusundo oh Baba Mala is my yeah. and wondering oh the music is working very well in Senegal it's quite good yeah. yeah that's really good and I believe that attracts quite a lot of tourists it does definitely yeah, yeah.
Thank you. Thank you very much for your time. My pleasure. Thank you. Ah, so how's it going? Hadija, Hadija, you get how to if you get the one linga hamenteni mo la Senegal am pour one linga hamenteni yo bugenyo Senegal guest to linga hamenteni mo mgen am pour yo hachi wali tourism. Today the new new one fini si world travel market si Londres bi pour one lidi sen liam ti Senegal one de kubilan la am pour one different place nu am sunu leki nu am nan akio nu yep ni tuberi nu one nu tamit. Mi nyange nu de la te de guest to. Walau membeli nanti cuba beli nyawa nanti tay masalah wahang nanti beri nyuberi wah nanti kata mida nyawa bunga nyawa Senegal sudut cah nabi de ane prosen am nanti beri nyawa ham nanti kau jangan nanti nyuberi si Senegal nyu don wajah nyawa tak kamu nyuwon nyuberi kata mida nanti nyu nyu def nyu nyu wahang mana def dah sunyu nyawa. Ah lang nanti nyawa lang nyu mana ampur dalal keli nih nyawa ham nanti bunga nyu nyu Senegal si wali jama kini ham nanti mu am Senegal si wali demokrasi si wali leka yu nyeri nih nyawa ham nanti wah masya Allah tabari kah. Kau nak korang lagi yang kelak? Senegal mungkin pun kami nak kita teranggawam. Kau kau waktu kau waktu Senegal Senegal mungkin kita bukan kami kerja fikir dengan amlo elek dengan amlo inan. Tapi kalau kalau sah dengan am foy fanan. Dapat kau kami tu nih pun jam bulan jam jam bulan jam pun sek. Dapat kau kami nih amul aku data presiden nih pun masalah nih pun kontan dengan you amul aifah baru ebalak nih pun yang kami nih tiang city masalah amu fa. Hamdul nih kita santai alam bahagia. Santai alam kontan dengan you bah. Anjo kau bah. Anjo kau bah. Anjo kau bah. Thank you very much. Thanks. We are at the centre of the Excel uh, Centre here in London. We've just moved from the Senegalese stand and we've also seen uh, the Kenyans, uh, musicians or lo their traditional musicians perform or entertain their audiences. We are in the middle of the, of the business hall and as you can see, uh, regardless of people's differences, their differences in creek, colour or nationalities, people are here for one thing and that thing is nothing other than selling their individual countries showcasing what they have got to offer in terms of tourism we have spoken to the dignitaries and the people from the gambia who are the, uh, who are at the top of uh, the tourism ministry uh, of the gambia we are as you can see you can see uh, there is quite a lot of people coming in and out of this business center inquiring about what other countries have got to offer. I thank you very much for joining me on yet another edition of the uh, Fruits of Our Societies show with your presenter Ibrahim Ajao and uh, the cameraman and the technician Sirif Jame. I thank you for joining me at the Excel uh, Center here in London uh, bringing to you uh, the, the show uh, from London uh, showing you what the wall wall market program has got to offer and I spoke to quite a lot of people from the Gambia from Senegalese authorities and as you can see there is quite a lot of people coming in and out of this business center I thank you uh, until you come my I come your way next time it was your presenter Ibrahim Ajao thank you very much <laughs>